Hey, what's up guys, it's Shining Polaris. Man, when was the last time I did a video? That was a long time ago. Uh, I kind of just lost interest of in doing it, so I kind of stopped, but I will make one today to get my, my uh, thing updated a little bit, and also because today was a pretty good episode. So, AEW Dynamite just ended, and we are like two weeks away from All Out in Chicago. I will be there, so I can't wait. So, of course, there's a lot of things that went down in this episode, and I am going to go all the way down and just talk about whatever I think is important. So, um, we can start off with that amazing CM Punk versus uh, and uh, John Moxley promo. Oh my God, they were definitely like killing each other on the mic, and like CM Punk is just so good. Like, come on now, uh, he, he took some shots uh, against uh, John Moxley, which I thought were pretty good. And of course, uh, John Moxley uh, did the same. Um, so this is obviously setting up for the main event at All Out, though tonight's Dynamite, they said that it will be CM Punk versus John Moxley next week on Dynamite. So um, I've been like thinking if I should go to that show. But like, I don't want to drive because it is kind of a far drive. I don't want to drive over there. And in my opinion, I think there's going to be like such shenanigans in this match. They're just going to not count it. And and then we'll just have the match the, at all out like planned. So um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go to that. Uh, I, I need to save the money for for all out week. But uh, yeah, so, you, so they had that going on. And it was funny because like, Tony Nese came out for like a second and who cares about him? John Moxley came out and, and still had words for CM Punk. I, I love that they did that. It's just, that was just like so much fun. Um, uh, let's see. Then uh, you had like, what, the, uh, what, what are the matches? That, um, the big match. Actually, I kind of thought it was going to be the main event. But I'm kind of glad it's not. This is uh, uh, Brian Danielson versus Daniel Garcia. And this was heavily advertised because the last match they had was really good. And so they just went and ran it back again. This time, two out of three uh, falls. So uh, they uh, they did their own thing. And uh, like I was like... Oh yeah, no, Garcia have, has to win this, right? Because we're trying to put him over. But he did win last time. So it's like, yeah, I think I think um I think Brian Danielson is gonna win it. So anyway, Danielson did win this match, but I liked at the end you had Jericho, who was on commentary, came out to try to like help or support Garcia, but then Garcia kind of pushed Jericho away from attacking uh Danielson. So you kind of have that like, okay, I think I think Garcia is going to leave Jazz. Now, I understand a lot of people see Garcia as a better fit for Blackpool uh, Combat Club, which obviously makes sense. But I don't know. I really like, I did not think I like Jazz, but I actually really like them now. So um, I think Daniel is really funny uh, being part of that group. And of course, you know, he has his two dads, you know, 2.0 in there. Um, but yeah, I think they're going to uh, have Garcia eventually join Blackpool Combat Club. And that that stable is going to be so unstoppable. <laughs> like, I, there's really, like, no other group that can beat them. Like, not even Bullet Club. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so you have that. Um, <clears throat> and then, let's see. Uh, yeah, so they, they, of course, started to announce some more of the matches for All Out. So one of them, which I was like, eh, I don't know about it, is um, you have Jay Lethal and his, uh, his little group thing. Do they have a name? I don't know what their name are. I've been just calling them uh, Jay, Jay Lethal and, and Stooges. I don't know. But um, so they were calling out uh, FTR and uh, Wardlow. So, you know, the pinnacle. And um, they want a trios match against them at All Out. So, which will be fine. Except, uh, in my opinion, I'm not really big into Jay Lethal and those two other guys with him. If you find them very boring. And I was hoping that FTR was going to go after the tag. Uh, titles at All Out and with them off of Swerve Glory. But I'm, but maybe like they could save that for either Grand Slam, which people are saying, or even, you know, all the way to full gear, you know, give, give Swerve or Glory uh, a little bit more time with, with the belts, I guess. So um, I don't mind that, like that part. I really like FTR and Wardlow together. So that's cool. It's just that I don't really like Jay Lee on this team, but we'll see. We'll see how, how, how that goes. 
Um, what else? Uh, yeah, they didn't have too many matches on the on this card because of, of course, with the uh, Danielson and Garcia plus plus the main event, which is why we're all here. Uh, you know, LaFaction versus the Young Bucks and their partner. But anywho, um, we'll just go back to the other match. So you had you had like random match of Varsity Blinds versus Gun Club. Who cares about that? That match was like two minutes long. Um, long story short, uh, Gun Club beat up uh, Billy Gunn, and he, I guess, joined with the acclaimed. So there you go. Um, and then the uh, match after that, you had uh, Tony Storm versus uh, Kyla King, and uh, they just had their little women's match. Um, but of course, that was, I guess, kind of setting up for Tony Storm versus um, Thunder Rosa again for the women's title. And uh, that will be at All Out. So they, they did announce that one. Um, so anyway, for forget about all that. We're just going to go right to uh, <laughs> right to the main event and my many, many fun theories about it. Uh, so, of course, like uh, me and my friends, we were saying that if Kenny Omega does not show up to this show, like it's going to be really bad on AEW because the Young Bucks especially have been hinting it so hard. Like... I don't mind if they did a swerve, but if they, like, if he didn't show up at all, I don't care who it was. It could have been any other good name. It, it, everybody would be so, would be so disappointed. But they didn't even do the Brandon Cutler swerve, which I thought they would do. Have Cutler come in first. And then, like, nah, that's, that's not the real partner. Partner's Kenny. They just went straight and had it Kenny Omega. So I absolutely love that. Woohoo, he's back. Um. Yeah, so like I said, it was it was them against uh, La Faction, and um, so for real, there was part of me that was thinking, okay, maybe maybe the elite will lose this one because first of all, La Faction, like they're a very strong group too, and like they need the push more than the elite, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe if we're still gonna do that, like. We're still going to do the Hung Bucks somehow. Adam Page is still going to join the Young Bucks. I don't know how, but that's going to happen. But no, that didn't. Um, the Elite won. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. So quickly about some of my thoughts on that. Because uh, Kenny came out with, of course, his people. So Don Callis, his manager, and Naka, his stooge. <laughs> but uh, Don Callis is still super heel on, uh, on commentary. So it's like either because I feel like the Young Bucks are going to turn face. I don't think they're going to stay heel for that long, especially if Adam Page is going to join them eventually, which I personally think is still going to happen. I don't know how I still think it's going to happen. Um, and Kenny, it's like, I it's like, would he would he stay heel? Because now everyone's cheering for him because he had like that year long break with all the injuries. Like, I can't see him being heel as well. So, so my two theories I hadn't thought about too long. Either Kenny is going to stay heel, which is what I personally want. Okay, I already said this online, uh, which which I personally want have him stay heel, and then uh, he will not join the Young Bucks. Young Bucks will still be with 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 Adam. And then you'll have the Hung Bucks versus the Undisputed Elite, right? Adam Cole and Red Dragon and Kenny. And I know I'm the only one that says it. I still want Kenny with the Good Brothers Super Elite. So I don't know. We could go that direction and have Kenny still stay heel and join uh, and join the Good Brothers. Or uh, another theory, which would maybe make sense. You'll have uh, Kenny stay, stay face with Young Bucks and Adam Page and then have Don Callis who is still heel manager, maybe he'll um, manage um, Adam Cole and we'll, we'll go with that. So that one, that one, I, I wouldn't mind if that happened. But the, but in my opinion, I like Don and Kenny a lot together. So like, I just, uh, I would not like to see Don splitting up with Kenny. But anywho, those are just my quick theories that I just had like five minutes ago. So I hadn't really thought about it yet. But I personally, and I've already said this on Twitter, I would like it if we have all those three groups to, against each other, if that's possible. Hung Bucks, Undisputed Elite, Super Elite. All right. So, um, yeah. Uh, man, so how, how, did, how do I feel with Kenny coming back? Um, awesome. Uh, like I said, besides me wondering, what is he going to do next? How about I enjoy the moment and be like, finally, he is back. Like, I was very happy. I am jealous of everybody that went to see, went to go to Virginia live. Because if that was anywhere in the Midwest, I would have attempted to go 
go there so but i can't so uh but uh one thing that happened on my long uh, youtube hiatus was uh, as you can see i uh made an account for the yarn box right here and finally after so many weeks of hiding kenny in the background that uh he is finally out and revealed and I made his little ring gear there. So anyway, follow them. <laughs> follow them on Twitter at YoungBucks underscore AW. And they are followed by the Young Bucks, so they are officially um endorsed by them. <laughs> I guess. I'm just I'm just joking. Um, but yeah. So all right, uh, I'll try to keep this short because I have not done these videos in a long time. So I uh, hope you guys like this. And uh, I don't know. We'll see if I do more in the future. I'm still doing my thing on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter at Shining Polaris. Uh, TikTok, I am huge into TikTok. I'm actually doing more on that than, than YouTube, which is why. So TikTok, Shining Polaris, AW. Um, Instagram as well, Shining Polaris. And like I said, follow my burner account, YoungBucks underscore AEW for croquet elite content <laughs> it's not only about the uh yarn box i have i'm slowly trying to get the elite made so like i said, i have kenny i have the good brothers someone is coming in very soon to join them so wonder who <laughs> so all right so there you go next show i'm gonna go to obviously is all the all out um weekend shows uh I don't know. I'm still deciding if I want to go to Ohio next week or not. So anyhow. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you like my little bit of uh, spam and uh, trying to get back on the YouTube. We'll see. Uh, but again, thank you again. Thank you for all the support on Twitter and all that. It's been a great ride so far. So all right. I will see you next time. Peace.